Hey y'all, I'm just coming on to finish up making this five panel card project that I've been working on all week. I thought you might like to see me put it together. It features the Snowflake Wishes stamp set and a suite for Snowflake Splendor. And I used the embossing folder, Winter Snow, and the So Many Snowflakes dies. I brought in some Stitch So Sweetly dies, one of the dies from Ornate Layers, and then I brought in the So Sentimental stamps, and had to get this warm and toasty, this guy here, into my card. So, we're not doing anything special here, just putting together the card. These are the instructions in case you want to make a five panel card. You can screenshot that and put one together later. I did use my homemade shimmer spray, the alcohol version with the frost white all-purpose ink to make some of the elements shiny because I need some shiny on my cards. But let's just put this together. So I started out by kind of figuring out what I want on each of my panels. This is gonna go on the back got these cool things to go in the middle and these fellas are gonna go on the front and I just need to put my card base together so I am going to take these over to the side and leave them kind of the way I had them so that I know what goes where don't want to get it all out of whack and out of order this should be a nice quick and simple card just wanted to hang out and show you guys what I was making this week so this is gonna be my card base and this is cut from a ten and a quarter by five panel and it's scored at three six and a half and then ten which leaves you this little quarter inch lip on the end and then this is gonna be five and a half by four and a quarter. And we're just gonna adhere these together. I did do a little cut right here at half an inch. So this little part is four and a half instead of five. And I'm just gonna put a little bit, let's see if I can do a little bit of glue. Doesn't sound like something I'm capable of doing, but let's see. I'm gonna use this end so I don't get a whole gloppy mess everywhere. And I'm gonna use my silicone mat just so I don't get glue on my work surface. Even that's probably too much glue, but we'll see what we can do. Dry the glue in there. All right. You want that to be a little step of a half an inch right there too. Just a little excess glue right here. Take as much of that off as I can. That will be covered, so I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna hold this in place until it sets up. Actually, close this over for a minute. I clean up some of this messy glue. I like the silicone mat because it just cleans right up. You don't have too much of a mess everywhere. All right, let's see how this is cooking. All right, it's almost fully set, but it's holding pretty well. So that's gonna be the five panel card. And now it's just to decorate. See, nothing too fancy over here. Should we start with the back or the front? Back, front, back. Let's start with the front because it's the most fun. Put this over to the side and let it dry some more. Let's see. I chose for the front a little sentiment that says sending warm hugs. There is no stamp that says sending warm hugs. It's not Olaf. So I tried to make it Olaf by putting a little bit of omitting 
to get warm in the center and then the other stamp is sending healing hugs I think it was but I omitted the healing so now it's sending warm hugs and then I put one of the self-adhesive snowflakes from the new catalog right on top of there and I did the same label twice this is seaside spray I just cut it in half because I'm gonna put it behind here and I stamped out our bear our ice skating polar bear and colored him in with stamp and write markers in seaside spray rococo rose and misty moonlight and then I added a little bit of shading with the light basic black and pool party and the colorless blender from the Stampin' Blends. And then I just cut him out with one of the labels. And I cut the label twice just to pop him up on there. Put him like that. And then these are some panels I did with just some ink blending. I'm using the Saturday Night Crafters Random Color Challenge colors this week, which are Seaside Spray, Misty Moonlight, Rococo Rose, and the last one is, what did we use? Rich Razzleberry. So those are our four random colors that we selected in the group. So I blended with some blending brushes, and then I ran it through the embossing folder to put some snowflakes on there. And then I sprayed it with my, my shimmer spray, which is just alcohol and a couple of drops of all-purpose frost white ink. So I'm just gonna start adhering my labels. I can use some stamp and seal for that. Just make sure it's started, put that on there. pretty sticky so you don't need a lot. Let's see if I can get these even. I like this stamp and seal because if I don't get it even I can pick it up and put it back down. I have a little bit of wiggle room and playing time a couple minutes before it sets. Let's put that to the side. Do this guy. concentrating I'm gonna get real quiet <laughs> just gonna offset that just a little bit to have a little bit of the seaside spray sticking out on the bottom and then on the top so now you have a cute little frame for him it's gonna go on here I want him kind of hanging off the top of the front of my card. And we're gonna have a fun snowflake that I cut out of the snowflake die. So many snowflake dies and I put a little rhinestone on it. It'll be off on the side. And I'll just do the same thing here with this one. As you can see, I tried that little omitting trick a couple of times before I got it right. That's why there's two sides to everything. You get two chances. Get him on here. All right, so that is roughly how that is going to go on the front of the card. All right, this is pretty dry now. Let's see how this looks. him over top because there's going to be this stair step layer to the cards when you close it so he can hang over that way that can go over here and put him here and that'll be the front I like it so far I'm excited just a lot of arranging and gluing right now 
All of the messy stuff is already done because I wanted it to dry. As centered as I can. Hmm, how do we want to put this on? Try not to get myself all messy. Alright, that looks like enough glue. So that's going to be the front of our card. Clean off this mess. Okay, next panel. Inside, I'm going to do just this empty panel so there's a place to write in the card. Put a little snowflake on him already. Down it here. I did a little bit of blending on these panels. These panels are the size of these small panels. The blended part is. Is that four by two and a half? And the bigger portion is gonna be let's see, four and a quarter by two and three quarters. So that's about the size of this panel. probably hear the ice cream man in the background. He likes to come between eight and nine o'clock each night, which I think is terrible for anyone's diet. First, because it's ice cream. Second, because it's way after 7 p.m. We're not supposed to eat that stuff. All right, next layer. For this one, I used this fun dye I really like. I took one of my blended um, backgrounds that I had done with the embossing folder. And I had done the embossing folder in the wrong direction. So this is actually the raised side. So I said, oh, why don't I cut something out of this? So that's what I used to cut out my snowflakes and this cool border. And then I just added some rhinestones and I glue him down on. This is just another blended panel and I sprayed it with shimmer spray. So I'll put him on there. Some more fun snowflakes. And one of the Stitch So Sweetly dye labels. And another one that says, Warm Wishes for a Happy Christmas, which is from the Best Year stamp set. So I didn't show that earlier, but that's one extra stamp set that I used. Best Year. Neighbors are walking their fun dog. You can probably hear that too. His name is Mishu and he barks like that at all hours. It's fantastic. The kids are chasing him. He's cute. Here. I wonder 
wondering if I put dimensionals here, would it be too bulky? I don't think so. Let's try. Why not? It's my card. Who's going to stop me? You? You're not stopping me. do with this one. Alright, that's pretty centered. I like it. Alright, layer three. Cooking with gas here. We're doing good. Sorry, we're doing well. Let's be proper. We're doing well. That's not all the way glued down. I might go back with some liquid glue on that. It doesn't want to stick all the way because there's so many layers. To layer four. Who are we going to do on layer four? Okay. So on this one, I'm just going to do snowflakes and a little sentiment that says sparkle, which is another stamp where I omitted. I just wanted the word sparkle, so I omitted the rest of the stamp. I forget what he said originally. Oh, may your season sparkle. So I just omitted and just put sparkle, stamped some of the snowflakes, and then put some rhinestones and some self-adhesive snowflakes on there on the sides. And this is a two-inch circle and a two-and-a-quarter-inch circle. Put that on here. That's the fun of these five panel cards. You can decorate them any way you want. It's dealer's choice and you can use lots of different stamp sets or the same ones throughout. And you can just do absolutely anything you want. All right, yeah, that's gonna be a pretty layer, right? I think so. somehow. Alright, and next layer. Did I not glue this down? Ha ha! We didn't even glue the front on. Good grief. How about if we glue him? That would help. Much better. All right. Let's glue it down on there. Okay, so front, inside, another layer. Now this guy. What to put here? All right. Let's see. All right. For this one, I used one of the so many snowflakes dies that cuts in. And then in the back, I just used some scratch paper that I was blending on that I had used to spray my shimmer spray, for on, shimmer spray onto, so it looked like this, and I just put some shimmer spray, and I was spraying the other things, and then I just cut it out. So that's what's in the back. Rhinestone, and then this is seaside spray, just cut out with one of the dyes, and shimmer spray on top. 
I stamped my snowflake wishes for a Merry Christmas in Misty Moonlight ink and cut it out with the Ornate Layers die. And this is just lightly blended and more snowflakes. So I think this is going to be a cool layer, but I want to put ribbon on this one. So I have some of the snowflakes blender sweet ribbon that I just ran through the Xyron. And I tied a little bow. It's kind of a double or triple bow. Cute, opaque, and very sparkly ribbon that I like a lot. Let's see, how are we going to do this? Let's figure out where this is going to be. So I can figure out where to put the ribbon. Closer to the top, and this will be closer to the bottom. The ribbon will be about there. Right. I'm going to put him on first so I can put the ribbon behind this. little bit of stamp and seal on here just to make sure it stays. And that's not going anywhere. <laughs> Is this bow going to be? Okay, that's going to be this layer. inside of our card. I'm just going to put some stuff on the back because I don't want all this showing. this one. 
all snowflakes. Cover up that join right there. Just looks a little unfinished when you do that, so cover that up. And let's do one more panel where you can write something if you're so inclined. me why I'm putting the pink on the top. I don't know. There's no real reason for that. It just... Yeah. Alright, so that's the back of the card. So we have our fun polar bear sending warm hugs. It's a place for writing. Warm wishes for a happy Christmas. Sparkle. Snowflake wishes for a merry Christmas. And then the back is just finished off where you can write. Not too complicated. And you got a nice little five panel card. I did another one yesterday using some other sets. It's a completely different feel and look to it. It says joy to the world, peace on earth, merry and bright. I didn't do the back for this one. You can see it just looks unfinished if you don't do the back. And here's the little join. So I'll probably do some more panels for this one too. This is using the gift wrapped bundle with the punch for the bow. And then the joy and peace stamp set from the new catalog. And the paper that I used is um, flowers for every season. It actually has some poinsettia paper in it. And I used the one with the cinnamon cider stripes and the one with the cinnamon cider panel pattern on it. And then this stamp is from Gleaming Christmas. I just colored it in with some Just Jade and Poppy Parade. So that's a different look to your five panel card. Thanks for hanging out with me and watching me put together my card.